How you doing guys? Dragon Man here. I'm in the Colorado Springs Military Museum and this time of the year we winterize all the vehicles. I'm doing it this year a little earlier because uh, another month it really gets cold in here. And this is what I do. I disconnect the, uh, the gas line from the, uh, the main gas tank and I put these little jugs in here and fill them up with this stable. Gasoline mixed with stable. And uh, all it's got to do is go through the uh, the fuel pump and the carburetor and it'll be good for the whole winter. It makes sure uh, the uh, carburetor won't get gummed up or uh, stuffed up. Because when you let the, a gasoline motor sit for a long time, like six months, uh, the gasoline turns into shellac and ruins the uh, jets in the carburetor. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start this one up. I got the battery hooked up and we'll see what happens. Yeah, these are half tracks. Uh, they made these at a white trucking company in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, made these uh, 1941 to 45. Okay, I got the choke out. Push the button. Look at that, huh? All my vehicles run great. I keep them in good shape. Okay, we're going to shut that off and we'll go to the next one. Okay, <clears throat> this one here is the, uh, the M2 half track. The only difference from the M2 and the M3 is the M3 has a back door. This doesn't, so it's the M2. Okay, this one here is very rare. In fact, uh, in 1942, the White Trucking Company at Cleveland, Ohio only made 520 of these. Over 400 went overseas and never came back and I have two of them. I have seven half tracks. Okay, so anyway, we got the uh, gas hooked up over there. All I got to do is pull the choke and uh, hit the starter motor. Then we'll put the key on. Well, there is no key in Army vehicles. We put the switch on and hit the button, pull the choke out. RPMs, uh, these half tracks, this motor puts out 147 horsepower at 3,000 RPMs. Hey, listen to that motor purr. Runs like a brand new truck. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. This is the M15. This one here is the M3, and I'll show you why they call it an M3. These are M36 backpacks. See, the M3 has the back door. This is the back door. This has the original radio equipment in the back. It's got uh, a few 1919, 3 1919, 30 uh, Browning machine guns on it, and a 75 millimeter recoilless rifle. All this stuff was used during World War II. You don't get any more realistic than this. Okay, let me hop in here and uh, we'll start it up. Okay, we'll make sure it's a neutral. Put the key on. This one does have a key, but that wasn't stock from the factory. Okay, we'll pump it a little bit and push the button. Look at that, huh? Really good.
Very good. Yeah, military vehicles, uh, it's pretty easy to winterize it. All I do is put the stable gas, I mix it in there with the uh, regular gas. It goes through the fuel pump, through the filter, into the carburetor. And uh, then I take a, a gauge uh, hydrometer there and test the, uh, the antifreeze. And really that's all I do on the military vehicles. We go right down the line. I only got about 67 more to do. Yahoo! I love it. Well, what are you going to do? Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs>